Are you comfortable there, honey? I am, mother. Kudret does everything to make me comfortable. The maids never leave me alone. <laughs> so how long will this possibly go on? Hmm? What'll happen if he gets bored with you and kicks you out? That's not gonna happen, sis. Kudret's gonna marry me. <sighs> Mother, why are you crying? I'm crying for what you've been through, honey. You've never been happy, dear. From now on, I will. Don't cry anymore. The bad days are over. Oh, Elvan, no. You'll understand when you become a mother. They say a daughter's fate is like her mother's. I tried so hard to save you from the fate I experienced, my dear. But I couldn't do it. You won't be sad anymore. I will change our destiny, you'll see. I will rewrite our fate. You will all be comfortable. We'll leave everything behind when I marry Kudret. Elvan, do you actually hear the words coming out of your mouth, honey? Huh? You're still Ejders, that's how we all see it. You forget that? I will take care of that as well. There is nothing that will prevent me from marrying Kudret. How is that going to happen? He's asleep now. Okay. We have to be very careful. Okay. Come. This is the money we need for now. If we can pay the first installment, we can get rid of the liens. We're gonna need more than this, you know, in order to pay off our debt the following month after we get rid of the liens. Let's pay this first. The rest is easy. Ejder is correct. Look, here guys, if we can pay the first installment, this will give us some leeway. We'll be in much better shape. Exactly. Everything else should fall in line. As long as you are united like this, you can make it through anything for sure. I mean anything. No matter what, though, we can't seem to set things straight. There's no room for your negativity, Safika. Well, I know we have some checks we haven't deposited yet, but they're not enough for this. I'll take a look at them at the office, then. Give me some... Who finally showed up. Oh dear. What is she doing here? Well, what do you think? Freya has probably kicked her out already. Uh oh. Well, Alvan, what are you doing here? I'm here to see Edger. Why? What do you need from him? Mind your own business. Edger! 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 That's Elvon's voice. Elvon is here? Why is she here? Oh, for crying out loud. Ugh. What do you want?
Why on earth did you come back here again? Chill out. It won't be long. People are talking about you. They can say what they want. I don't care. Besides, that's none of your business anyway. Avon, better watch your words. I'm not here to listen to your advice. What's your problem, huh? You're gonna start crying again for us to take you back? We'll see who will be crying. Don't beat around the bush. Say what you're gonna say. I'm here to cut all ties with you. Let me go, Edgster. Oh, oh, thank goodness. We can finally get rid of this trouble. Good, good, good. Bad news oh. spreads fast. She wants to get rid of Ejder, which she heard we were going bankrupt. You're paying for what you've done. These are the end of your good days. Karma's a bitch. Elvan, enough now. If you want me to let you go, you can have it your way. It's over. It's over. It's over. Amen. Oh, thank God, Amen. I'm on my way. Just try to keep the driver busy. Okay, I'll call you when I'm close. Thanks very much. The cake was lovely. You're very welcome. Uh, well, I know Mr. Kudret's supposed to come over tonight, but we're gonna need some stuff. You tell me what you need, then I'll go and get them. <sighs> Thank you. It's all written on this paper here. Great. I'll be right back. Thank you so much. Has the driver left, honey? Yes, Mother, he's gone. Where have you been? Tell me what happened. It's over now, Mother. Everyone was there. They thought I was going to beg them to go back to the farm. But you should have seen their faces when I told Edgder to let me go. Let them all rot. They will, sis, they will. I will make them pay. It's all over now, is that right, honey? You can officially marry Mr. Coudrette. Yes, Mother. Thing is, Coudrette mustn't know that I was basically Edgar's property before. But he'll find out sooner or later, what do you do then? Well, that's fine by me. He can find out after we're married. What'll he do? Isn't he gonna be like, why didn't you tell me about it? I tried to tell him, but he didn't listen. He said he wasn't interested in my past. Yeah, and if he says something after we marry, I'll remind him what he said. I hope it will work out like you say, Alvan. It will, sis, it will. But... What about my brother? You never know what Basir will do. I won't be surprised if he opposes this marriage. That'll be the end of me. Basir shouldn't be here tonight. Mother, think of something. Okay, honey, all right, I will. Don't worry about it. I'll think of some excuse and send him away. See, now things have started to turn around for us. These days will be over by tomorrow. I'm still in shock. Well, I'm still in shock, too. How could Elvon do that? <sighs> well, why do you think? She heard that we don't have any money left, so she wasted no time distancing herself from Ejder's reach. Well, I don't care why. We finally got rid of a problem that trumped all of our other problems. There's something really fishy at play here. I know her in her heart. She wouldn't do anything like this unless she had support. As long as she stays away from us. I hope she can settle down for good and leave her sinful past behind. She's been through a lot. 
I have children. I won't wish her ill. Huh. Well, I'm sure she's up to something. We'll find out soon. Mark my words, you all. What is wrong with you, huh? What's with you? What is this? What's this for? Your aunt and her family are coming over. Oh boy, oh boy. Why all of a sudden? I don't know, son. Women in the neighborhood said they'd be by, that they wanted to come over tonight, and, well, I said okay. You can go to the cafe if you want. Right. What am I gonna do around all these women? The cafe it is. Okay, take care. Why do I deserve this? Kudret Soilu, you handsome devil. You are better than all the young men out there. So, are all your children here? No, sir. What is it? What's troubling you? Actually, they don't know that you've come here to ask for Elvin's hand in marriage. Oh, 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 but I told Elvin to come here and let everyone know. I wanted everything to be by the book. I wanted to get their consent, but you're telling me this can't happen? That's right, Mr. Kudret. Uh, that's what we all want, too. The thing is, Basir... I don't think Basir wants this marriage. Ah, oh, shoot. I really wish he was here. We could have talked to him face to face. If he knew my intention, he would have given his consent. I hope it'll happen in time. I hope so, too. I think once you formally get married, Basir will see exactly how serious you are about Elvan. You are formally getting married, aren't you? Of course, it's formal. Everything will be by the book. Nothing will be missing. Oh, I hope so. <sighs> Let's talk about the reason why I'm here. With God's will, and the consent of all that's divine, and of course, both yours as well, I'd like to ask Elman if she'd be my wife. If my daughter wants this, I want it too. Her happiness is what's important. She will be. I will make her very happy. I hope so. Ah! What is that man doing here? Hey, man, 
Aren't you even ashamed of your age, huh? You've already took Elvon as your mistress. Here to rub it into us? Basir, watch your words, son. Mr. Kudret is here to ask Elvin's hand in marriage formally, my son. The hell with their marriage! Hey, didn't I tell you not to come in this house? Didn't I? Oh, hold on. Calm down. Don't get angry. I'm here to ask for your consent, Basir. I'm not giving you my consent. I won't let anybody say that I sold my sister to a rich man. I won't allow that either. So let them say it. Let them say it because Basir knows this. My name is... Kudrat Soilu. Your money and wealth is not enough to clear someone's name, Mr. Kudrat. And you. You both are trying to sell Alvan to this guy here, is that it, huh? To hell with you all, then. You do what you want. Don't go! Don't go! Ugh, oh, come. Even remember these days. <sighs> Honey, bring some water. No, no, no. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm sorry for Basir, Mr. Kudret. He's ignorant. Uh, forgive him. God forgives all people. I think Basir is not that wrong. He doesn't want people to gossip, you know? He's a young man. He's brave. Well done. But as time passes on, he'll get to know my intentions. And he'll consent to this. I hope so. Well, I don't want to keep you anymore. I'd better go now. Of course. Don't bother, dear. Have a good night. You too, sir. You shouldn't have bothered. You're the lady of the house now. Gulserin would have done it. It's okay. I actually like serving you. And a woman should do anything, really, to please her husband. Your very existence itself makes me happy. Take the driver today and go to your mother's. Get together with them. And go out shopping. Prepare for the wedding. Buy anything necessary. There's no need. Let's not spend money in vain. Hold on there. You're going to be Kudret Soilu's wife, just so you know.
Buy some elegant, really nice things. Thank you. But people will talk when we are shopping. If they say anything to you, I will make them pay for it dearly, sweetheart. Besides, I had them close down the shop. You'll be quite comfortable. Get whatever is necessary. Don't miss a thing. Okay? Okay. All right, then. Where are you going all dressed up? To see my mother, that's all. To see your mother? You've never wanted to see them before, and now you decide to go see them? I've been meaning to for a long time. Now seems a good time. Ah, so you've been meaning to all of a sudden. Not suddenly, no. I told you I wanted to. I told her I'm coming. She'll be waiting. Okay? I'll take the rag off your mouth. But if you make any noise, you'll remain hungry. Uh, I guess you don't want to get out of here. I'll be out of here sooner or later, Elvon. And then you know what's gonna happen to you then, right? I don't care what happens after I marry your dad. It won't really matter. You're crazy, know that. You've gone bonkers. Hey! <clears throat> if you'd been through what I've been through, you'd have gone crazy too, Sepnem. But we're almost there. I'll settle the score with all the people who put me in this situation. Did you call not me, son? No, Mom, I didn't. And why is that, son? She feels sorry for what happened. Let her stay at her mom's, get rest. 
Uh, okay, son, you know best. Good afternoon to you. Afternoon, Kudrat. What are you doing here? How dare you show your face around here, huh? Simal. You're being rude, Simal. You shouldn't treat a guest like that. I don't care who they are. Besides, I'm kind of your uncle. Doesn't that make us relatives? I don't want any relatives like you, man. One doesn't even do that to his enemies. You don't do that! You're being rude and ungrateful. Put your arrogance aside. I've helped you many times before. I've saved your company a lot of times, a lot of times. You Samal. let go of me. Samal. Let go of me. Please calm down. Mr. Kudret, I won't be rude to you because you've come to our house, but you should watch yourself, all right? We're listening. Why should we listen to him? Let him crawl back into his hole. Samal. Samal, hold on. He's come all the way here. Let's listen to him, hear what he has to say. Please, come in, let's talk inside. Mother, take these, keep them tucked away. Don't open that here. What's in here? My jewelry. Why are you giving me them? Your father's still working, thank goodness. We don't really need them. I'm not giving them to you for you. I'm giving them for myself. What are you talking about? Mother, things aren't going well at home. The company's going bankrupt. If they want our jewelry soon, I'll lose these as well. Keep them safe, okay? Honey, this is wrong. They are your family, and it's your duty to support them. What's wrong, Mother? Huh? What guarantee do I have about this marriage besides these trinkets? It's not a formal marriage. Am I gonna be left all alone without anything to show for it? Please just hide them and don't say anything to anyone, all right? If you say so, my dear. I know all about your situation. I'm here to make you an offer that will benefit you greatly. Come on, don't beat around the bush. What do you want? Chief Lee, I'd like to buy the farm along with the lands. But I'll give half the money Kunate will give. Oh, yeah. What the hell are you talking about? Are you really messing with us? I won't even sell you trash for that amount of money, man. All right. Then I'm increasing my offer by exactly 10%. But no more. That's it. My final offer. No, then we don't have anything to sell you. Think this through. You can set a lot of things right with that amount of money. Excuse me, but we're not thinking about selling anything. Don't rush your decision. I won't kick you off of the farm, but you'll pay rent to me. So that way, you can live without changing your lives dramatically. Okay, it's time you get the hell out of here. We are upset as it is. Let's not make things even worse, son. Let God punish him. Okay, sir. We've treated you well enough as our guest, but don't push us any more further. Even the best deeds sometimes stumble, Kudrat. You may go through tough times one day. When that day comes, we won't hold a grudge. We'll help you. Not push you down like dirt, but pull you up like angels then maybe you'll feel the kind of embarrassment you need to. As you wish. Goodbye to you.
Hello, Mr. Kudrat called and wanted us to pay special attention to you. We are at your service. This way, please. Welcome. After you. Good afternoon. Mr. Kudrat's oh. guests have arrived. Welcome to you all. Our shop is at your service. Close all of the doors. Put security at the front. Nobody else is allowed to come in. Right away, sir. Let's get out of here. This place is very expensive. We can't afford it. Don't worry, Mom. Kudrat left me some money in the morning. He told us to buy anything we need. Never mind that. Let's not spend it. Save it for the future. You might need it then. We won't be having financial problems anymore. Come on, choose what you want. Uh, can you help us? Yes, ma'am. Do you mind helping my mother? Of course, this way. Come on, ma'am. dress we saw at that shop was very nice. It would have looked good on me. Well, buy it if you liked it, honey. I'm just so exhausted walking around because of you. Mom, we're window shopping. I'm so bored at the mansion. I wanted to get some fresh air. Don't spoil my pleasure. All right, okay. Forget I said it. Oh, mother. Come on, let's look at those dresses. All right then, dear. Come on. I'm sorry. Uh-uh. What's going on? You can't get inside, ma'am. We're closed for the day. The lights are on. What do you mean closed? Move aside. Please, you cannot go in. We have VIP guests inside. Our employees are busy with them. Uh, who are those VIP guests? They famous or something? Mr. Kudret's future wife. Kudret? Kudret Soilu? That's right. Mother, did you hear that? Kudret Soilu's getting married. I did, honey. I'm not deaf. <gasps> Who's he getting married to? Is she a member of a famous family? Uh, I don't have that information. Shh. Tell me at least if she's young or old. Young. Oh. Do you see that dirty old man? He's marrying a young one, like she'll make him live longer. What's it to you? He marries or not? Mom, Come would on, you hold let's... on? Ma'am, if you please. You're blocking the entrance. They'll fire me if they see you. You don't have to know everything, honey. Mother, all right then, all right. Like we wanted to go inside. Tackiest place I've ever seen. Honey, you've been my daughter-in-law for years. I think you've forgotten what poverty really looks like ever since you came here. I have to admit that. Even though you make me angry, you've always been good. You gave birth to two children. <sighs> the heaven sent Tahir to us and then took him back. That's not to take lightly. I know it hurts you deep inside. May God never test people with their children's lives. What can you do, honey? That's what God wanted. We've suffered a lot altogether, and now... We're having another hard time. These days will pass too, won't they? Of course they will. And if we unite together, if we help each other, these days will pass. Uh. 
honey. If you have bracelets, if you have any jewelry you've been keeping inside, give them to Samal. Those are for these tough times. I gave them whatever I have, my dear. No need to tell Besame. She'll give them on her own. We will both hand them over. But I don't know how we can save the company with some jewelry. I really don't. It's all right. The important thing is to support each other. Besides, your husband will like that. He'll feel happier. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you, Sukran. You're welcome, madam. Would you like to say something, Sukran? I don't know how to say it, ma'am. This has been my house, too. May God bless you. You have always considered me as part of your family. Well, you are, Sukran. So then, ma'am. It's not much, but for a while now, I've been putting some money away. Uh... I want to contribute as well. <laughs> That's kind of you to think that. Thank you, Sukran. May God bless Thank his you. family, madam. <sighs> Grandma, don't worry so much. There's a lot of money in this thing. You can give whatever's inside here to my father. Ah, my child. Oh, I love you so much. Mm. Guess what I did, guys? I recognize a cheese pastry. Nagma loves it. Well, I did it only for her. As a kid, she used to say, Aunt Cezanne, your pastries are great. Why don't you teach my mom to make it? I still remember. I never learned how to make them. Nagme, dear? See? Aunt Cezanne made your favorite pastry strictly for you. Who am I talking to? Honey, enough. You're worrying yourself way too much about things. Come on. If you don't think about yourself, think about your baby. It's affecting you both. It's okay, Mother. I'm fine. Nagme, please, have something. You haven't eaten anything today. I don't want to right now, Aunt says, and later, yeah? Come on, then. Let's go out and get some fresh air, huh? You'll feel better. I said I'm fine, Mother. I am. Well, if you say so. Honey, how are you? Fine. I wanted to hear your voice. I miss you. That's good. I miss you too, dear. Have you figured out a way yet? Nope. I haven't even come close. I don't know what to do. Don't worry about it. Let me know if something happens, okay? Okay. Take care of yourself. Okay, take care of yourself too. I love you. And I love you too. See you soon. Give me those. I got them. Let him carry them. Come on. Let's go, sis. Look. Look. Do you see that? Is that really Elvan? I guess it is Elvan. Look at her. Can you believe it? So, Elvan, you're not even going to say hello, huh? Congratulations. You're getting married to Mr. Kudret Soilu. This time you've made it. 
Uh-oh, <laughs> look at her. What happened? You don't like us now, is that it? What's to like about you? You should look at yourselves first. Well, what's wrong with us? Don't you forget where you come from. Okay. Don't worry, I didn't forget anything. You closed your doors when my brother dragged me through the streets. You didn't even look at me. You cursed me, doomed me when I needed help. Now you come and congratulate me? You're disgraceful. Have some integrity, wenches. Oh. Huh? Come on. Let's get going. Elvan. Never mind them, honey. Pay no mind to them. Today was a great day. Don't let anybody ruin a day like today, okay, Elvan? Come on. My sister. My beautiful oh, daughter. Mom. Come on, get inside. See you soon. Welcome back, Guzel. Thank you. How is your mother doing? Good. She sends her greetings. Well, thank her for us. Guess what I found out. You'll be so surprised. What is it this time? The rumors all over Bursa. <sighs> Don't beat around the bush. Come out and say it already. What is it, my child? Kudred Soilu is getting married to a girl younger than his daughter is. Dirty old man. Stop talking such gossip. That's gotta be a rumor. Everybody's talking about it. This is not just gossip. He even closed down a shop for the girl so she can shop all by herself. Oh my, oh my. Sebnem didn't say anything to me about this. Let me call Sebnem right now. Just forget about it, Safika. Why do you even care? <sighs> it's not on. Well, I'm very surprised. I mean, who would have guessed my Uncle Kudret would get married after all these years and to a young woman like that? I'm sure she's after his money, yes. And whoever that woman is, she will bleed my uncle dry. He gets what he deserves. Isn't that Elvon? Yeah, it's the new her. Come in. Yes, what is it? 